Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Now here's a quick wrap up of your Tuesday morning headlines. We're staying on top of a developing story out of Hollywood. That's where there's been a large police investigation overnight. Officers were on Scott Street just off the North Broadwalk. Police tell us they were called to the area at around 11 last night. No word yet from police on what sparked the investigation. We did notice a handful of evidence markers on the ground. Police also recovered a handgun at the scene. And also developing overnight a deadly shooting in Lauder Hill. This happened at a shopping center on West Oakland Park Boulevard, about a block west of the turnpike. There was a car with multiple bullet holes in it. The car was in front of a restaurant and check cashing store. There was also a body on the ground. No word from police so far on what led to the shooting. Former Vice President Joe Biden will be in Broward County this afternoon. The Democratic nominee will make stops in Pembroke Pines and Miramar. Florida is a still a virtual toss-up, but it's a must-win state for President Trump. The president was in Sanford near Orlando last night for his first rally on the campaign trail following his COVID-19 diagnosis. The president will be back in Florida Friday for a rally in Ocala. And Broward County Schools has its first classroom coronavirus case. A first grader from the Pembroke Pines Charter West Campus has tested positive. In Miami-Dade, CBS4 has confirmed 13 cases at 11 Miami-Dade schools, but the teachers' union says it's hearing of cases at 15 schools, and that includes Mass Academy, which will reopen today. Students learned remotely yesterday after two students tested positive. And that's a look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS4 News at noon. And get updates anytime on cbsmiami.com.